We are almost done with week five. We'll be going into week six. So let's take a look at our wave wire pickups for week six. Before we get into it, guys, do me a quick favor there. Smash that like, smash that subscribe if you're new. It's a free way to support the channel. That really helps us out. Let's get right to it. And we'll start at the wide receiver position with Jonathan Mingo, who had five for 48 on seven targets, no touchdowns. Bryce did throw the ball 41 times this game, 25 or 41. Adam Thielen is the main guy. I mean, 11 for 107. But Mingo's starting to get a lot of looks, starting to get more involved. And of course, if Thielen were to go down, Mingo would have a very much increase in value. He is a little bit of an older wide receiver. We've seen that already this year. But Mingo's a guy that you want to stash on your bench now that a lot of injuries are happening, now that a lot of bye weeks are happening. Next wide receiver up, we've got Josh down six targets six catches for 97 yards led the team in receiving one less target than michael Pittman, who finished with seven anthony richardson did wind up coming out of this game early so we saw Minshew for the most part josh downs the first three games of the season i mean seven targets five targets 12 targets three targets and then six targets but it looks like he is coming along a little bit more as the season goes on so it could be a guy that you need to plug in and play if you're in need with injuries or bye weeks coming up pick up josh downs if you need for week six next wide receiver we've got is kj osborne finished with nine targets five for 49 JJ actually goes down in this game, hamstring injury. We don't know how bad it is, but it was bad enough that he couldn't return onto the field. So if he is going to miss any time going forward, KJ Osborne is a guy to look at for next week. And that'll bring us to our next guy as well, which is Brandon Powell, who finished with four for 43 on six targets for the Vikings. Looks like he was that short route guy. They were trying to get him the ball a little bit in space. So in deeper leagues, if JJ's missing time, Brandon Powell could be a guy that you can play in some of those deeper leagues. The next wide receiver we've got up is Khalif Raymond, Detroit Lions. Finished the day with three receptions for 45 yards on three targets. St. Brown did not play this game. There is a slight possibility that if St. Brown cannot get himself back on the practice field, this week could need surgery on that sports hernia, which could leave him out for the next three to four weeks. If that does happen and you need to play somebody, Khalif Raymond can be a good kind of dart throw in desperate times. You do have JMO back, but they did ease him in. So if St. Brown was to miss next week, Khalif Raymond could be a guy you can plug into your lineup in some deeper leagues. The next running back up we've got is Kendra Miller, New Orleans Saints. 12 carries for 37 yards, only 3.1 a carry, but he did have four catches on 53 yards on four targets. One more target than Alvin Kamara. Now this could have been a product of they were up by a ton. New England literally scored zero points. This was a shutout. But if Alvin Kamara and both Kendra Miller can be fantasy relevant in this backfield, that is definitely a possibility. Jamal Williams still injured, so Kendra could be the guy to take over that RB2 role behind Kamara. So if you can pick up Kendra, just hold him on the bench for now until we can see if this is going to continue going forward, or was this really just a product of them being up by so much against New England. But for now, stash him on the bench and see what happens. The next two running backs that we've got up on the same team is going to be Amari Demarcado and Keontae Ingram of the Arizona Cardinals. We had James Conner go down with an apparent knee injury. Um, says he's feeling okay. We don't know the extent of the injury as of yet. I'm recording this at you know Sunday night during the games. But if he were to miss any time, Keontae Ingram, who was normally the RB2, who was out last game uh, with a neck injury, could be a guy to step up as well as Demarcado. So if Conner does miss any time and you are in a pinch, these are two guys that you may want to try and get on your squad off of waivers for this week but that will wrap it up for this video guys on the waiver wire pickups for week six let me know down in the comments what you guys think do you need to pick up any of these guys are there any guys maybe that i missed let me know down there in the comments do me a quick favor before y'all get out of here just smash that like for me smash that subscribe if you're new it is free to subscribe to the channel. It is a great way to support the channel. I really appreciate that. Helps us get out there into the world in eyes of more. Helps us with the algorithm. So I really do appreciate y'all. See y'all on the next one.